Hi, welcome to Game Creation, and in today's video, we're going to carry on our missile command uh, videos. Um, but this time, we're going to add an element of challenge to it um, because at the moment, the bullets hit the cities and the silos, and nothing happens. So, we want to destroy them. Let's get started. So, open up the same project as we've been using throughout last week and this week so far. And we want these silos and these cities to be destroyed. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give all of these cities a qualifier. Now a qualifier, all it does is it just groups them together. And I don't know, it could be good. It doesn't actually matter what you give them. And I can just go for each one, give them all the qualifier of good. I think you can select multiple ones by holding down control or holding down shift. There we are, shift seems to do it. And what you can then do is give them all qualifiers, I think. This is just me assuming. And so if I click on one of them now, it will have the qualifier there. And what I want to do is um, maybe insert a new um, group of events. Uh, destruction. And all we need to do really is just have a simple collision with the baddie missile, another object, and group good. And all we want to do is we want to destroy whichever city it is. Now, the problem with this is I can't, I don't know which one it's destroyed, so I can't say I'll oh, destroy city one because I don't know whether it destroyed city one. So all I do is, in fact, see, yeah. All I do is I talk about it in terms of group good and just destroy. Because I've got um, a collision between group good, this will only happen to the one it references there. So if I run it now, it should just destroy the one that it touches. So this one's going to hit this city here. Let's just see if it works. Fantastic. Now we also want to destroy... Um, the baddie missile, but um, we don't want to do it here because once the group dot bad, oh sorry, group dot good is destroyed. Once the city is destroyed, uh, we also want to keep destroying these uh, when they hit where the city was. Okay, let's do the silos now. The problem with the silos is we don't necessarily want to destroy them. I can't really remember why we don't want to destroy them. Uh, I have no idea, but in my thoughts, I was like, I don't want to destroy them. Uh, ah, because if we destroy them, then it will muck up this bit here. So all we want to do is just push them to the last animation sequence. So I'm just going to go back to the level editor. We'll do the same here. We'll give them all qualifiers. Um, call it player. Again, it doesn't matter which qualifier you pick. They're designed so that you can kind of look at them and know what they're what it was that was going through your mind <laughs> when you collected them. So player will be the silos. We'll just do the same thing here. But instead of destroying them we'll change the animation uh sequence uh where are we? To animation frame and we'll put it to the last one which I think is eleven. Uh no, it would be ten. Okay, let's see whether this works. So we've got to wait for one to destroy. I think one of these is going to destroy our silo here, or both of them are, and it should go to zero. And notice I can't fire from that silo anymore. Same with this one. I can fire from this one, and now I can't, which is the desired effect. Um, so we need to find some way of getting rid of these when they reach their destination, which will be the next challenge. So if we look at this line here, which we made last week, uh, we set a target, a uh, target X and a target Y for these missiles. And every uh, hundredth of a second, we go closer and closer to the target. So we need something to say, well, hang on, if you reach the target, then destroy yourself. <laughs> so, uh, um, so I do it, yeah, position pair x position to a value and we want the target 
uh, which will be target X. And we might change this uh, in a second. I'm just going to click and drag that to double it because we want to. Oh, actually, we can't do that. We need to do it manually. Uh, that's fine. So replace, and we want to look at the Y position. And we want to compare it to the target Y. So if it's reached its destination, then we just want to destroy it. Now, the problem with this is that um, it might not ever reach it. So we'll just have to test it to see whether this works. It should work. So this should get destroyed when it reaches its destination. But we'll see. <laughs> and it does. And we just check at the bottom. See, this one doesn't. That one does. This one doesn't. That one does. This one doesn't here. And so half of them do, half of them don't. And the reason for that is that it's, it might never reach it because of the rounding. So we want to just add a bit of leeway here. So target Y, I don't know. Um, hmm. And we've got to be careful because we want a collision. Maybe we minus one. And maybe we don't say equal to, but for the Y position, we say greater or equal. Because uh, obviously the lower down it is, the greater it is. Let's just run this now and see whether this works. We've got to make sure that the collisions still happen with the cities and the silos, so we don't want to be too liberal with it. So that one's still not working. Oh wow. Maybe I should have... Uh, hmm. Let's not worry about the Y position. Actually, we don't have to worry about the Y position, or the X position at all. I don't, I don't really care about the X position. That's probably what was causing some of the problems. So we're only really caring about the Y position. Because these are falling down. Let's just see whether these work. There we go. That one's gone. That one's gone. So this seems to be working, which is good. And we just check every single one. So we'll check this one, see whether this works. See, this doesn't actually reach it. So what's that? One, two, three, four, target four. Oh, it did. So we just need to move the targets down, maybe. I think we need to move the targets down slightly. Um, hmm. And so we need to go into here and maybe just move the targets down slightly. Um, so maybe I'll add five pixels to each one uh, or just these ones. And this is where just testing, see where the bugs happen, because these ones seem to not be hitting consistently, but the other ones seem fine. So that's a lot better. <clears throat> yeah, lowering them down a bit seems to have worked very well, which is good. We're just waiting for one to hit there. As you see, all my silos are out, so I can't fire anymore. Uh, they seem to be avoiding this one. <laughs> this is why, this is when you go in and change the speed of the enemy missiles to be a lot quicker, so you get more of them out, or just have them set to the second city. I think this one here is gonna hit the second city. We can just check that it hits it, which it does. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be focusing on the player's missiles and sorting that out. So I'll see you then.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.